Hi, this is Lisa from giftedguru.com and I wanted to share with you a short tutorial on how to use Bitly to create and save short links. Now, I use Bitly all the time because it allows me to create links that students can actually navigate to and if I include a URL in a handout, teachers can navigate to it as well. So let me share with you what the problem is and how Bitly solves it and why I think Bitly is the best way to solve it. So here's the issue. Imagine that you wanted to have this discussion in your class with students about how 2015 had a record number of shark attacks and here's why, and you were teaching AP environmental science or some other class where you were going to use this as a discussion. Well, look at this URL. Look at the length of this. News.nationalgeographic.com slash 2016 slash two slash all this. There is absolutely no way that any of your students are going to be able to type that in accurately. And if you are wanting adults to navigate to it, they're not going to have any easier time either. So um, all you have to do with Bitly is highlight that link and then go to Bitly, paste the URL in, and this box will open up here on the side. It shortens it to this link, but this is still not fabulous because it doesn't make a lot of sense. But look down here, customize bit link. Now I could say why shark attacks. And now my link is bit.ly slash why shark attacks. I could make it even smaller. Once I've created the bit.ly link, I can change it as well. So let's say I want to change it from um, let's say I want to change it from uh, the Y shark attacks to, um, let's see, shark attacks up. And now that's the link. So I could keep changing it if I want to. I can add a note to it to remind me of what I used it for. And I can um, then add tags to it. So I could tag it with AP environmental science or whatever I want to. So a couple of things about Bitly that make it great are not only the ability to um, customize that short link, create the short link and customize it, it's also the ability to have analytics. So on this link that I created from this very long URL that you see here, it had 117 total clicks. 117 were on the link I created, and zero came from other bit links. I can see analytics in a short way down here, like I see zero, zero, zero on links, but then sometimes, let me find one that has a number of them, and you will be able to see, here's one. This is, my, this is actually linked to my cleaning schedule, 695 total clicks. So it tells me how many people have clicked on it. So if you're trying to do like a flipped classroom and you want to know who's checking your links, you can see there. Also, another real advantage of Bitly is its search feature. So let's say I want to find some article that I had read that I created a Bitly link for, and it had, all I remember about it is it had the word brain in it. I click brain in my search and it pulls up, you see here, 28 results. And then I can just scan through and say, Oh yeah, how to rewire your burned out brain. That's the one I wanted. So if you ever remember, oh yeah, I had this link, I don't remember. Here's a good example of the analytics. 814 total clicks, 33 from the link I created, and 781 clicks from links other people created. That's why I think Bitly is so fabulous and fantastic. Now when you go to Bitly for the first time, it won't look like what I just showed because I was logged in on my account. What you will come to is bit.ly.com or bit.ly, either one works, and this is what the screen looks like. You would click on sign up. Now, if you don't want to sign up and all you want to do is shorten a link, you can just paste it right here and that big long link will be created. Now, notice though, I can't customize it and I get this kind of gobbledygook of link, but you can use bit.ly just to create a short link. But that's not its true strength. Lots of places will do that. Its true strength is in when you get their free account and it allows you to 
share the not only the link you customize, but then to also have the analytics for it. So I highly recommend Bitly. It's very straightforward to use. And I hope that you will find it useful in handouts, in newsletters, in anything that you might do where you're wanting someone to navigate to a URL that's really long, or you have a link that you want to know how many people clicked on it, or you have a link that you want to store for later future use. I hope this is helpful to you. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your link shortening.